What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Hollywood here on Aviator Games. If you guys are new to the series, you don't know what it's about, basically, we follow a young Jack Hollywood as he tries to become the number one comedian and most famous Sim in all of The Sims 4. Now you guys, today is a very special day, because today is Saturday. Not only is it Saturday, but it's the first ever Super Saturday here on Aviator Games. If you guys aren't quite sure what I'm talking about, basically today, I'm going to be airing four videos. One's going to be The Sims 4 Hollywood, one's going to be The Sims 4 Let's Play, and then I have two new shows coming to the channel today. So make sure you tune in for every video and show these videos support with a big like if you want more Super Saturdays every single Saturday. So make sure you slap that like button, Lemonheads. Let's try to get this video to 1,500 likes. But you guys, in today's episode of The Sims 4 Hollywood, Jack is going to be spending a little stepdad slash stepkids time with with his like new family so Bella's his wife now if you guys missed last episode he did get married to Bella and moved in with her um, and now he's got two stepkids he's got Alexander and Cassandra so being the stepdad you know is always a kind of an odd thing you know the kids kind of hate you because you're like the replacement of their real dad and they miss their dad and all that so we're gonna take the kids after school out to the park and we're gonna try to spend a little a little bonding time some family bonding with Jack now Jack is a free spirit he's a single guy well he was he was kind of a playboy even though he didn't have sex with many women he kind of played a few of them but he has to he has to try to get used to settling down and accepting that he's got a family now to take care of it's kind of weird at first to get used to but it's something he's trying to get used to and he's gonna attempt to uh, have a family bond experience with them today because he does have off as you can see he gets Monday Tuesday Wednesdays off uh, he's ready for a promotion the next day he works which I'm really excited about because he'll be a level 7 comedian and that's I think the highest I've ever been in the entertainer career so I'm excited to kind of see how that all unfolds but right now he's just kind of getting ready for his day I think him and Bella are gonna spend a oh wait no I think Bella has to go to work she goes to work like right now yeah she's heading off to work and then the kids have to go to school so there's not gonna be oh why are you so hungry Cassandra why aren't you eating Wait, is he playing on a tablet? <gasps> wait, where did you get that? Oh, wait, no, I remember these. Oh, yeah, these are cool. I like these. Uh, you could read an ebook. What is he doing right now? Oh, he is reading an ebook. See, Alexander's a really smart kid, so I'm trying to figure out what Jack can do to kind of bond with Alexander, because when you look at Jack, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't speak brilliance. Look at him. He looks so. He looks. He looks happy. I don't know. He feels. He looks. He looks accomplished. If that's a thing, <laughs> he looks it. Uh, I love you, Jack. I love you. Okay, so what we're going to do, since the kids are going to be going to school, Bella's going to be at work. Jack's going to kind of have the house to himself. Now, this is the first day he's actually had the house to himself. So what should he do? That's what I'm trying to think. What could Jack possibly do with the house to himself? Now, his fitness, he's been lacking in fitness a little bit lately. Maybe he should go work out with the day to himself. Maybe work out and then hit up the bar for a couple of drinks and then go to the park with the kids? That sounds pretty good. So let's go to uh, travel. We're going to go with Jack, and we are going to head out to the gym first. You got to get, get those reps in. Bella likes a fit man. She doesn't want him to be gaining all this weight and starting to become an uggo. Bella's kind of uh, superficial that way. <laughs> but you guys, Jack and Bella have to start planning when they're going to have a family. Because they're getting older, and they're not getting younger. That's not how life works. You don't age in reverse. So they have to decide if they want to have kids, if they want to just raise the two stepkids. Well, Jack stepkids, and that's it. Uh, I think I'm going to have you guys decide that in the comment section down below. Should Jack and Bella have kids of their own, or should Jack just raise Bella's kids as his own, I guess? Uh, tell me down below in the comments, but right now, we're going to have Jack do mm, energized heavy lifting. We really want to build those arms. Jack Jack is pretty ripped though. I don't know how much more ripped he should get because then he'll just be one of those freakishly large guys. Look at his arms. He, he's in good shape. I wish I was, I wish I was Jack. Jack, give me your body. Okay. So we're going to have him lift some weights. Oh, there's Don. Don's still here. We should have him lift weights. We never really had him box. Maybe we could have him box after he's done lifting weights. Maybe do some energized boxing. That sounds like a good time, right, Jack? It's only 7.45 in the morning. I think we could easily have them work out to like noon, 1 o'clock. The kids will be back home by 3. It is a school day, so we will have them do their homework when they get home. And then the park, so like a 5 p.m. park day. Kind of maybe grill out Jack and flip some burgers. And, and we could maybe recreate that family bonding. Okay, Jack, come on. Lift your butt off. We're, gonna get, we're definitely going to be level 5. So Cassandra's off to school. Alexander's off to school. Good, good, good. What should we do? So we're going to do the boxing. Who is this? 
Who is this? Jay Huntington. Reached fitness level five. He can now uh, do a no sweat run on the treadmill. Awesome. It looks like our boxing bag is being taken up because some girl's using it. Are we done? Are we done lifting? Oh, we are done lifting. Okay, so she's using it. We're going to have an energized box pushed to the limits. Uh, Jack is feeling pretty fatigued right now, but he's got to push through it. Look at, look at the lady stare at Jack. They know he's famous. They know he's muscular. Okay, Jack. Put him up. Put him up, buddy. Put him up. There you go. Give it to that punchy bag. Don't let him show you who's boss. You show him who's boss. There you go. Yeah, don't let him talk back to you. Wow, that girl's really good. This girl's really good. Oh, God. She makes you look horrible, Jack. She really does. She she makes you look like a wimp. He can barely knock the bag back an inch or two. Come on, Jack. Let me see. Oh, that's all you got? How much does Don got? Don doesn't even have that much. That girl, This girl over here... Judith Foreman, she is kicking it. Oh, Foreman, I she's killing it. I get it. George Foreman was a boxer. That's Judith Foreman, so maybe that's why she's so strong. Okay, so Jack's going to keep working out until he's done with his energized workout. Then we're going to have him shower. How, how in need of a shower is he? Uh, yeah, this is going to be his last workout, the boxing. So let's have him go up here and take a brisk shower to get some of that energy back, get a little cleaned up. Um, and then he can probably actually go to the bathroom too. Might as well pump up the little bit of urine he's got inside him. <laughs> Is he listening? Don't you have to listen to Pop. Keep working. Keep pushing yourself to the limits, Jack. Keep doing. Okay, he's done. He's like, I smell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit. Okay. So once he's done with that, we're gonna finish up with a nice drink at the night. Well, nightclub. That. Eh, yeah. Well, why not? And <laughs> Jack's an alcoholic. No, I'm just kidding. He's not. He's actually against it. He's against alcoholism. Okay. Come on, Jack. Hurry up. We gotta travel to the the, the little nightclub for a couple hours before the kids get back. Then we have to go back home and make sure they get their homework done. We want to be home by like 2.30, 2.45, so we can be there before they get back. So it looks like we actually did something productive with our day. <laughs> At least give the illusion of being productive. Okay. So I think we'll have eh, a drink, maybe two drinks. Maybe perform some comedy routine if there's anyone there. Make a little bit of money, a little bit of side cash. Even though we're pretty rich now that we moved into the goth residence. I don't know if Jack's going to need any money anytime soon. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, nightclub's looking pretty dead. There's only a couple people here. I think what we're going to do is order a drink. Let's get their most expensive drink on the menu, a sour punch. That sounds pretty good. I'm pretty thirsty right now. Come on, Jack. You just worked out. You deserve a drink. You've earned yourself a drink. We're going to follow Jack all the way. <laughs> oh, I like that strut, Jack. What is that guy doing? Oh, he's dancing. That's what they call dancing. Okay, I get it. And we're here. Is that our sour punch already? Wow, that was good timing. Is it? Or no, it's not. It's sweet and spicy. Okay, that was for someone else. Is this another sweet and spicy? It is. Oh, wow, she's spilling it. Does she even know how to make a drink? She just dumped like half the bottle out on the floor. Who's this? Constance Cornell Cornwell? What? She's a clown. Wait, who is this? This looks like the girl from the Wendy's commercials. Who is this? Uh, Nina Caliente, Caliente, Nina Caliente, okay, come on, finish Jack, Jack's drink here, you've been making it all day, we're having a bad conversation with Nina, oh, oh, there we go, we got ours, what was our drink called again, it was called a sour punch, that's right, okay, so we're gonna drink the sour punch up, and then we have to head out, uh, kids are about to be done with school, so we're gonna do a little bit of chatting, a little bit of conversing, and then we're gonna go home, as soon as we're done with this drink. And goodbye, ladies. Thanks for the conversation. Oh, wow. This bar needs to be cleaned. I would clean that. Clean it with Viga. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> We're going to clean up the house. We should hire a maid, actually. We do have a pretty big house. It's going to be hard to keep clean. Just like with Jack and Bella and, and Alex. Actually, we have enough people to keep clean, but we're lazy. I guess I don't have an excuse. We're just lazy. So we should probably hire a maid so we don't have to deal with any of the cleaning on our own. Because uh, that sounds difficult. <laughs> Especially with three stories. A three-story house, that's a lot of... Of running up and down the stairs. You're done with school already? Oh, no. They're, they're, <laughs> there goes! Okay, so let's go to phone. We are going to go to hire a service. I've never hired a maid on the game. A one-time maid, a scheduled maid. Let's schedule a maid. And perfect. Okay, so a maid will arrive on Tuesday at 3.10 p.m. Okay, so she'll be here in nine minutes. Uh, what Jack's going to do until the kids get home is... Probably watch a little bit of comedy television. Get that fun up a little bit. Uh, there's not much he has to do, so he's just going to kind of chill. Let's actually light the fireplace uh, before we watch TV and then watch TV comedy. Uh, the maid is at your house while we're, you were away. You, char you were charged $53. Oh, she already cleaned? Okay. So let's light this fireplace up. We have a little romantic 
uh, comedy comedy television watching with a fireplace. This looks so nice, guys. I really like this room. I like this house in general. It's just beautiful. Like, look at this. It just makes me feel at home. You can get in right here, and it just... I am home. Look at... Ah, I love it. Okay. So, the kids should be home by now. Why are they not home from school? Kids. Why? Okay, now they're coming. They're coming home. They're... Okay, so here they are. Everyone's home. Uh, Cassandra, Alexander, and Bella. Um, Cassandra, do you not have homework? Do you not have... What kind of student are you? Do homework. Let's check their uh, their skills. Okay, so he's still a C student, I'm pretty sure. C student. C student. Okay, so these kids are not very successful in school, as you can see. <laughs> student. Ah! Okay, so let's have Cassandra come here. We're going to have her eat some salad. Why not? I should probably eat some salad, too, or Jack should. Uh, so let's go here. Grab your salad. Everyone can eat. Oh, Cassandra got in the way of Jack. Yeah, And I hate that they just are like, oh, she got in my way. I'm not going to eat now. He should eat regardless. Even if he, she was in the way, he should just wait a second and then go. Okay, so Alexander's doing his homework. He's going to be the brainiac of the family. He's going to try to finish this homework. Put your nose down, Alex, and get it done. Get it done, my friend. Because we have to go to the park, and it's already 5 o'clock, so I want to take you to the park. Are we going to get this done, buddy? Are we going to? Okay, let's do it. We're going to go. Let's travel with uh, household only. Let's take Bella, Cassandra, and Alexander on a little bit of a, a family bonding moment at the park <laughs> thingy okay and away we go okay so let's see this park or we can go to the other city and go to this park now this park has the bar i'm pretty sure right or is it the is it this park this park no this, it might be this park let's see let's check it out okay so family bonding we can't hang out at the bar i guess if you're having family bonding time you're not drinking alcohol because that's not family bonding time that's called i think Mental abuse. <laughs> because, oh, my dad, hey, yeah, family bonding was his, his, his idea of family bonding? Oh, it was drinking at the bar. Uh, okay. <laughs> let's get here. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is let's see what's over here. I'm pretty sure this, is this the, no, this isn't the one that has the bar. It must be the other place. Darn it. Okay, so what we could do is go fishing, and we can have Alexander go fishing with us, and let's all just have a family fishing time. That sounds fun, right? So let's go fishing. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We are just, we're just fishing. We are just fishing. Oh, Jack, you're fun. Oh, he looks, he looks like he's having a good time. I like it. He looks very, like, this looks like he could be on the cover of a, uh, some type of rustic fishing magazine. Family, family, outdoor family time magazine. <laughs> oh, okay. So... Let's continue with that. Looks like we're having a little bit of a fishing contest. Family fishing contest here. Let's see who pulls in a fish first. Wow, there's some big fish in there. Cassandra, acquire the fishing skill. Okay, let's see. Let's start acquiring skill. There's a lot of fish jumping in here. None that are biting. Notification wall full. Oh, God. Bella bought uh, or caught a 42 point... Whoa, worth 75 bucks. Um, Cassandra caught a $5 fish. Okay, we're going to keep fishing. Alexander caught $5, so so far the competition winner is Bella with a $75 fish. That's an expensive fish. I don't know what we're going to do with this. I don't know if it goes in the family inventory or what. Bella caught a fish worth 76 Oh, wow, she's holding the record, you guys. Bella holds the record, a $76 fish. So what we can do is we can mount these. We can, we can uh, sell them. Alexander caught a $40 fish. We're going to fish for a couple more hours and see what we can pull in. Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Jack. <laughs> Try fishing elsewhere. Bella just caught the definitive. What? That looks like a makeup case. Looks like the fish in this area kind of crappy. Well, Cassandra's giving up. We're gonna have her continue fishing. We're gonna try it. We're trying to beat Bella right now, guys. Jack just caught a $72 fish. Oh, that was close. Alexander caught a $5 creative lesson. Okay, so she had a 76. I had a 72. So I'm in second place. $46 fish for Cassandra. Okay, we're starting to really catch some fish here. Alexander got a five. Fishing level two. Mental level three. Fishing level two. Great. Uh, looks like the fish in this area just aren't biting. Bella just caught a waffle cone. <laughs> what? Uh, this is this is weird. What, let me see this. Okay, so she caught a waffle cone. What is this? It's an $85 toy. That's weird. $151 worth of fish. I like it. So we actually are making a little bit of money in this family outing. Look at that. 
Sell all that. Sell all these little pieces. It was worth actually digging through all those pieces. Now let's have uh, let's check out Cassandra's catch. There's a five dollar fish. She did catch a forty six dollar fish. Now let's check out Alexander's. He's got a fifteen dollar fish or fifteen dollars worth of fish, and then a forty dollar fish. So Jack took a uh, second place. Bella took first. Cassandra took the uh, third, and then Alexander took last in the family fish off competition. So everyone just go home. What a good day. We had a family fish off. Reached fishing level two. Okay, so everyone... Oh, Alexander caught a $5 fish. Uh, everyone stop fishing. It's getting too late. Okay, so there we go. Alexander, you gotta stop fishing too. So away we all go. Another $5 fish for Alexander. Maybe we can mount it on his wall when we get home and he can remember his fishing trip. We should have probably kept the $40 one, but that one's actually worth money, so... Nah, that's why we sold it. <laughs> okay. I wonder if it costs money to mount a fish. Because then eh, it's not worth it. If, if it's free, though... Then it's actually worth it. It's actually worth the money. Because it's, it's free. <laughs> Minus $40. What was 40 bucks? Okay, so let's go upstairs. What we're going to have them do is it looks like they need to actually do a little bit of taking care of themselves. Alex is going to go to the bathroom. He's going to take a brisk shower. Then he's going to come downstairs. It is 9.50 at night. So we're actually not going to even have him come downstairs. We're going to go all the way upstairs, and he's going to go to bed. It is pretty late. He finished his homework, though, so let's go to sleep. Now let's check in on Cassandra. What does she need to get her grades up? Attend school while focused. Oh, that's not bad. We can get her to do that. We can put a focus lamp or something in here. Uh, but it looks like Cassandra's going to go to bed. Uh, let's have her take a shower. Use this. And then go to bed, actually. Now, Bella. Uh, Bella is already asleep. I think I'm going to go to sleep as well. It is 10.30 at night. Pretty late. But you guys, I think this is a really good spot to end the episode. We had a little bit of family bonding today. I really want to wait for the next episode to see if we should have kids or not. So remember to leave a comment down below. Remember to slap that like button, guys. And remember to tune in. Because there's going to be three more videos today. Every hour and a half, there's going to be another video. So as soon as an hour and a half goes by, there's another one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.